you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponent into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Outstanding, made the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body kick. Rao gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. minutes in our opening round. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Great punch. Oh, man. one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Two minutes now to go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Chor. 
Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground pop. He is going after that overhand right. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, Barrow's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Trying to establish that jab once again. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's gonna set it up again? I am certain he's gonna try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that oh, shot. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Pass to half guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Short. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Barrow. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Beautiful punch. Misses again with a right punch. Real quick leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! So he's 
really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A good job defensively there to block the strike by Barrow. And they separate. Big body kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit the takedown attempt after the takedown attempt. Choi gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. And he landed the right hand there. Swing and a miss with that punch by Burrell. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back line, sure. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel, right? That's to his opponent. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That big scroll right from the jab, too. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Keep moving forward. Clipped with a left hand counter. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Ooh, what a punch. A little single collar tie there. Right, so now he's on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Punch over the top. 
Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands the right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Good stick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, Barrow's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's look. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Nice loop and punch. Big knee to the body! Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. I guess it pays DC to be the longer fighter. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Let's go. You gotta do something. Hit it. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this Great fight. Time to that Short time now in the round. Side control now. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape his very, very dangerous position. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Uppercut to the head, instead is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Final seconds of round three. Beautiful leg kick throw. Choi gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Punch is blocked. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body move. Pseudo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Morales right back to the full mount here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice, right. 
Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice. Nice. Clean with the right hook. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Strike right there. Beautiful knee. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very Fantastic active. Fantastic timing for that beautiful takeoff. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Throws the right hand there. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Nicely done. Beautiful strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he would then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> nice kick. These guys are going at it. Good punch. Straight right, he misses. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Plants with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful short elbow is there. Ten seconds. Just out of range with that strike. Wow! What a fight so far. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Final round, you ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Big kick. Raises the guard to block the strike and now counters with a straight punch. So defense into offense there, out of the longer fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted action, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 
Oh, found the home for that left hand. Nice punch by Choi. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab or pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Morale gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Visibly limping here. Hits him, Lance. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponents and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent oh! to try to get him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. So he's got to take that finish down now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Choice has got full mount now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Gets up again here, but hurting. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Ooh, big shot lands. Back and forth we go. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh! Huge right hand! He's out! It's over! It's over! <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. Going to win it by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a man.